It's a great honor to be here with you. Sophia to me is something that is in my heart since many times ago. And uh, having this honor to present to you my kids, Biotrans Energetics. And this is a challenge. First, because uh, the title you gave to this uh, conference is exactly what Biotrans Energetics is is a psychotherapy, a transpersonal psychotherapy, and also is a, a method of healing. And sometimes I wonder, also could be intended as a spiritual discipline. And I will try to, uh, to share with you the essence, the, we could say the flavor, the scent of biotrans energetics because you know this is something that uh, came to me i could say that this method started in 1982 in brazil with my first meeting with the, the brazil with this uh, planet so incredible since then this process of uh, creation of a methodology started in me. I started to receive directly a lot of teaching and uh, slowly by your transgenetics took shape, you know, and uh, I am used to say that first is something that happened to me. So first was something that healed myself. Then, but can I share the screen? I guess. Yes, doctor. Yep. Yes. Yeah, you, you can see. I could say that uh, I say biotransgenic is something that happens to me. It's something very simple and complex. We could say we could reduce biotransgenic in three words disappear, stay, and become. This is something very simple, but it's something, uh, it is a word, it's something very complex to, to realize. I would like just to, just to let you know that uh, is something that is a long story, not, not just for, for uh, manifest myself for ego, but to let you know that there is a long story. Since 1982, I had more than 50,000 hours of work with clients, with people. This is a number, but also you, you, you could you imagine each of these hours was an hour with uh, sorrows, uh, with pain, uh, with uh, joy, happiness, with a smile or uh, tears, uh, blood and sweet. And in this long, long process, I had uh, the possibility to refine, you know, to see what is essential, because the core of my research is, but was, what is the essential of healing? And could exist an healing without evolution, without self-realization. And why human being is so suffering and seems that something that is very simple is so difficult to realize? Because in my vision, biotransenergetics is something that wants to go to essential, to simplicity, to the true nature. There are, uh, in, in the ancient tradition of uh, uh, Eastern traditions, uh, maybe most of you know the term home, haum. Haum means the method and the way are one. 
What does it mean that the method and the way is one? Means that the more your methodology is close to the way, the more is functional and efficient. What does it mean that a method could be, should be close to the way? Which is this way? The way, the true nature of life, the true nature of experience. Which game are we playing? And how we can play this play in a easier and simple way? And also we have a lot of uh, psychotherapists graduating in our institute and, and a sort of, lot of people that are working in this in Italy. But, okay. I need you to understand what I want to offer to you. I share with you some maps, but also I would like to share with you a common experience that common field that uh, is uh, connecting all of us in this moment. For this, to understand this, to understand that field that connect us, I need you. You see, this I call this synergistic model to me means that uh, you know the model of biotransigenity is complex. It's not just a methodology means do breath or dance or uh, uh, as a, have a catharsis or something. Not just method, but there is an ontology, an epistemology, a phenomenology and a methodology. We will try to see, most of all, we try to see this one, epistemology, because to enter in methodology is too complex. There are too, lot, too much of practice that is not uh, i guess the, the the occasion to do this but we will just see some of this but go for with the onto epistemology i offer to you this model that to me is something very simple and very complex at the same time we could stay all the conference on this maps and uh, much more time on this because i think that this is something that contain a lot of information for example we could say that going back to which is the essence of the illness which is the essence of the trouble the sorrows the problem, the conflict of the human being, we could say that is the separation, the duality, the separation from the self. What does it mean, separation from the self? Means if you go to this map, epistemological maps, means that human being is used to live in the square. What is the square? Square is a metaphor of almost everything. Is the metaphor of, for example, the stage. We could say on the square there is the stage and the backstage there is the circle. We could say the stage is the matter and the backstage is the spirit. But also we could say that uh, the square is uh, the mind and the circle is the awareness or you could say the square is the theory and the circle is the practice and so and so and so any dualism we can name we can put here and what happens to the human being human being is focused focused on square and almost always forget the circle focus on what appears what is evident 
and don't see what there is behind. For this reason separate, because of course, if I only see the square, I am obliged to separate. I don't see the, the circle. But how to see this, that circle and why? We seems human being condemned to be in this separation. If you look at this model, you see that the square is into the circle. This means that anything is appearing on the stage comes from the backstage. This means that the theory and the practice is one, the matter and spirit is one, and ever and ever and ever. Anything we could uh, define as square is circle. Means everything is the self. Everything is psyche. Everything is consciousness, we could say, and we will see later. But for now, I use this model to explain that uh, being aware only of the stage is the basis of any pathology and any suffering. And be, uh, being able, be aware, not putting together, but recognizing the unity. So the consciousness of unity, consciousness of unity is one of the basis for healing. Go ahead. We could say the circle what is the metaphor of the circle? The psyche, we could say. So, and things to, to the mainstream psychology. For the mainstream psychology, the psyche is almost the mind and is in the brain. Means the circle, the, the square, the psyche, was reduced to the square and the circle was forgotten. But the psyche is not the mind and is not the brain. The psyche, as the ancient Aristotle and Plato, and in the recent time, Jung, Asajoli, Wilbur, and mostly Panikar, a, 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 Spanish philosopher tell us that psyche is almost everything, is the totality of the self, that the term psyche in that case mostly coincide with the self. And this is another epistemological map about psyche, of the psyche. This comes from Panikar, Raymond Panikar. He say, and if you think, you see that this is correct. The psyche, as different level, of course, is a systemic unity. The bios, that is, the body and all the, the physical process, the biological process, are the square into the circle means is a manifestation of psyche is the ma the most material manifestation of psyche but it's psyche the pneuma for pneuma we intend uh, the soul or better the, yes the soul the feeling uh, the emotions anything is connected with the feeling we could say we could name pneuma, and again, it's psyche is a more a subtle level, 
and is connected with the bios of course there is no we can, can you can you state the, the boundary and the difference between bios and pneuma yes there is a difference but there's a difference of level of vibration we could say of level of consciousness not just difference with the separation and psyche is autos what does it mean autos the sense of identity the i we could say our personality is a part of psyche of course but it's just a part of psyche it is that part of psyche that we know of ourselves just a little 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 part of this immense infinite we could say and psyche is logos the mind here yeah, the mind but the mind intended as uh, the concept the logo is something very higher this logos is the idea think to plato the uh, the world of ideas where from where everything come if you our bias our emotion comes from ideas we couldn't you, we couldn't feel something that we have not the idea of this something so the logos that descending into the body give us autos pneuma and bios and this is zoe what is zoe we will see better later the zoe is the interconnected flow of life or we could say the interconnected flow of consciousness is the everything flowing out of time and out of space and finally all this psyche that we could also name self we could divide of course in transpersonal self and in personal self this self has no time no space and this is the subject of any experience we could say that the object of inquiry of transpersonal psychology on of biotransfer energetics is the psyche so all these all these levels but we are playing a game our psyche is in dialogue with the psyche with the world me and the world i call this the circuit of the experience this is the game we are playing we the we is acting knowing and feeling we could divide not divide we could uh, um, recognize three subsystem in our system of uh, in ourself the actor the who the one who act the one of feel and the one of know the acting is something acting is anything uh, uh, no excuse me feeling is anything comes from outside to inside acting is anything goes from inside to outside and knowing is the process of elaborating we have or are these three subsystems in our play in our dialogue with the world go ahead so the circuit of experience yeah this our self means that part of the bigger transpersonal self our self our personal self i call organism self why first because as i told you is a systemic is we could recognize it as inside us there is a doer the filler and the knower and uh, go back to the square and the circle to be integral and to be transpersonal we you we need master all the three and there is no difference thanks again to the to the square and circle the feeling or who feels is interconnected with who does do and the one that 
No, there is no possibility to differentiate this. Differentiate, yes, but separate. So, how we can master? How we can keep integrate the doer, the feeler, and the knower to have an integral and transpersonal experience? Go ahead. For example, mastering all hours which I call, uh, we go, this is the five-fold model. This is, we could say, the three-fold model of organic cells. And this is, this is the five-fold model of self, means that process of feeling, acting, knowing could be recognized as in the five levels of the bo five bodies to the think to the tradition of yoga and uh, Vedanta and uh, anything there are the bodies you know so the physical body let me see physical body energetic body emotional body mental body spiritual body we experience that game of the circuit of the experience thanks to our five bodies and uh, sensation of the physical body, subtle sensation of the energetical body, moods, feeling, uh, emotion, needs, desire, emotional body, thinking, uh, images, memories, mental body, concept, mental body and spiritual body we could say insight transpersonal experience peak experience or everything is beyond the mind so to master that that game and that three part we should master thanks to this content the interaction of our five bodies But we are not separate and alone. We are in the world. Me, you, or it, the, the outside, and the we, the we space. Now we will focus a little, a little, not so little, with the, this we. What is this we? This we is something that is forget, forgot the field mm, wait any experience uh, Lato, that's so sorry to interrupt you um yes your, yeah your parent point there's a little you know section just cover the the, the slide so we can't see the full slides now if you want to adjust this a little bit uh you can see the light the slides uh, yeah, we can see the light. Yeah, yeah, right now it's better. Ah, yeah. Okay. If you can go yeah. to your. Uh, your... I, I don't put the presentation because I go back and forth in the. I need the. I need this side one. But okay. Yes. Yes. So you you go, to go the right. Okay. Yes, mm -hmm. and then, and close you that see? section. No worries. Okay. If you okay. see any experience of the eye. The I experience the it, the object, but the object could be also you in a field. We can separate me, you, and the field. So our experience is me, you, and the field. If you think to this, this is, this is enormous implication in our life. Because we are used, go back to the separation, the square of the circle. I say, me, you, I feel that you, you did this, uh, I don't like you because, uh, and so and so, any interaction with, between me and you, on the stage, there is me and you, but we forget that there is a field around us. And that field, as you can see later, is not just something uh, we could say, um, that doesn't do nothing. 
The field is psychically significant. The field is working. Even in this moment, I am speaking and you are listening. But I am not only speaking and you are not only listening. All our bodies are in play. Because I am speaking, but also I feel how I can, I feel myself. Also, I think I am acting. I feel how you are. Maybe I imagine if you are listening, enjoying, uh, understanding or not. When I see some little heart coming on the screen, I am happy. And when you do this means that you are happy. And all this is our experience. And this is an inter integral experience. Thanks for the heart. This is an integral experience, but we are not aware. We just, in this moment, we are eluded that I am speaking and you are listening. This is fake. This is not true. We are having an integral experience with all our bodies. This is the reason why I said I need you to understand. Try to feel in all your bodies what is happening in your body as sensation in that moment. Try to do this. Maybe close your eyes. Just a quick moment. Body sensation. How does my energy is flowing? I feel the flow while I am interrupting somewhere. And uh, what is my emotions? I feel that expansion. I feel myself at home. Or I am in malaise or something. And in my mind, I am just uh, understanding a little, letting flow the, the thought why I am judging something. And have, can I have maybe some insight, some vision? Because remember that what I am saying is just knowledge. But the process is what I say, what happens into you and the insight that comes. It's not important that you understand by your trans energetic. It's important that we have some insight because the true knowledge comes from inside and comes from inside. The more your five bodies are integrated, the more you get insight. But go back. So the field and the more your bodies are integrated, the more you master, doer, feeler and actor, the more you can get to the field. So here another map. We could say, go back to the psyche. Our psyche, in that mo now we could recognize the psyche with these three subsystems. This is another map. The microcosm means the organism itself, this one. This one, this me with my five bodies is here, but is into the field. There is a bigger field around us, around me in that moment. Just the dog barking outside in that moment is in the mesocosm. And anything, I am here in the night, you are in the day. Our mesocosm is different, but also there is a mesocosm between me and you with this screen. So the mesocosm is the field. We always have as an experience in the mesocosm. But that mesocosm, that is, we could say stage, comes from a backstage. The microcosm, the essence, the source, the consciousness, the spirit, the transpersonal self. The more we organize, we master our five bodies, the more we master our feeling, acting, doing, the more we get the field. If you have the map, let's say, oh, get the field. 
and the more we are in contact, we could be in contact with the essence. And what happens to us is more essential. Self. If everything this as makes sense, we need another map, which I call trans. The trans, I say, this is a unity of the experience, the ternary unity of the experience. Me, you, and the field is one, ever. We can imagine or name something mm, smaller than this unity. And thanks to our ordinary ordinary style of speaking. We speak about relationship. Me and you are in relationship. Yes, but this is a wrong term. Relationship is two, me and you. And this is not true, because in this moment we are in trance. There is me, there is you, and there is a field around us. And that field is a field that change depending of our state of consciousness and stage of thinking. The more I am in contact with my five level and my three subsystems, the, the more I master them, the more I get a higher state of consciousness and stage of thinking, and the more I get the field. The more I get the field, the more my, I master my trance, and the more I am in contact with the essence. Okay. I am checking for the time. Managing the participatory dialogue. How can manage this dialogue? Me and the world, me, you and the field. How I can master the trance? Again, I told you that I offer to you mostly epistemological maps because the practice this is not the correct format to do the practice i call this integral psychogram go back the year is our five levels my five levels the more i master my five levels the more what happens in the field? What is that field? That field. I said that the content of the organic self are this one. The five level, the five bodies and these contents. Which are these arrows? These arrows are the content of the field means archetypes archetypes what does it mean think to the elements earth fire air water and think to jung sensation intuition um, thinking uh, and emotions and going over the archetypes are uh, principle that unify all our experience of the field we will see later to master my experience, inner experience, I have to manage my five levels. To master the experience with the world, I should manage the archetypes. Because it is through the archetype that I get the unity of the essence. Try to understand this. Uh, let me see. I have to reduce a little. Let me see. Okay. Go here. No, go back. 
To master this, I have three great aspects or important. One is remember everything is consciousness. We are used and the mainstream tell us that everything is matter. If you think the science 400 years of science based on the fact that the matter is on the basis of the universe. But it is not true. The base of the universe is consciousness. This is the first leap that I can do if I want to master. And We better. Anything is a flow of consciousness, energy, and matter. Different level of vibration. I can say that. Uh, how you can say this? You could say to me, yes. True. This. Remember the three levels, the three subsystems, doer, feeler, and knower. When we realize that we can observe ourselves, I don't say nothing new. I am saying uh, anything related with uh, meditation, with awareness. The awareness, the awareness is observing myself, doing, feeling, and knowing. When I observe myself even doing, a, I can realize this, I can realize the flow. I can realize that anything is an intentional flow of awareness. I can realize that anything is an integ in intentional experience. And you could say, ah, how you can say this? Try. Remember Galileo with, with the, the, the earth spinning around the sun? How we could say this? Looking into the telescope. Master the observation, the awareness, and you will feel, feel that knowing, feeling, and doing is one. And that there is just no boundary unless the boundary are boundaries, but also are doors that connect with the field around us. And the more you master the observer, maybe you meditate, you do your practices of awareness, of self-mastery, the more you see that actually, yes, I observe myself, but actually it's the self observing myself observing. This is what I call the fifth element. The observation, the awareness, the consciousness is aware. And descending to me that I do the right thing, connecting, integrating, doing, feeling, and knowing, and letting go and flowing, and disidentifying, and anything, I let the observations flow through me. We have not a consciousness. We are inside the consciousness. We are not observer. We are observed by the observation that observe ourselves knowing, doing, and feeling. This is something that we can easily experience by mastering what I am saying up to now. Uh, I just, I have few, I guess I have five minutes less for, for the key and day, is correct? It is yes. correct? Yes. yes. So I just share a little more, uh, maybe some practical. 
you know, when I say you have to integrate feeling, acting, and doing, mastering movement, mastering breath, and mastering visions, you can integrate anything you feel is also a vision and is also a movement. Anything you do is also a feeling or breath and also a vision. Anything you see is also a movement and also breathing. Breathing. Try to be aware of this. Try to what I call integrate. I took from Orient from West Western no Eastern tradition the mudra, the mantra, the yantra. If you do aware movement, aware breathing, and aware visions you can connect you can be aware that these are one i have to go i can't i can't speak about all these too much too much i go let me see i go there mm. uh, i go there no I told you before that we could you we could synthesize the biotrans energetic in disappearing, staying and becoming. By observing yourself, observe observe, you can realize that anything is happening is coming to the stage from the backstage, and you are at home. In the backstage, you are a tomb into the consciousness, into the self-consciousness. So disappear, pass to the zero, I say. Let me see. Pass to the zero. The technology to disappear is the passage to the zero. What does it mean, pass to the zero? I see you, I see anything is happening, but I realize that I am not what is happening. Of course, you could say this is meditation. Yes, in part is meditation, but also since I am not what I am observing, but what am I? I am at home. I am the self. So I choose, I simply choose the self. I simply choose the truth. I simply choose to be aware that I am at, at the source. And when we are at the source, what do you do? I drink. And I let anything around me. Imagine you are in the desert. You are thirsty, thirsty. There are snakes and uh, sweet and, and you get the source, the water. You drink and you let anything around as it is. The same. Passing to the zero is I am at the source, I am at home, I disappear to anything. And persist to contact. Stay in contact with the force that comes from the void, from the emptiness of the self. That force is that flow of consciousness, is that flow of archetypes. And I can master the trance means becoming. Yeah, the becoming. I can become that force, become the archetype. Actually, I, for example, I feel myself uh, ang angry. If I disappear to angry and I realize that I am on the stage, there is the angry, the rage, but I am in any case at source, being at source, I feel the force coming and I feel that, for example, this, is, this rage comes from the archetype of the warrior. There is a warrior inside me that wants to change the world, that feels uh, important or would like to do something. So I can stay in contact with the warrior inside me, the archetype, and master mastering, becoming, becoming that archetype, the warrior, I can clean, clean. remember Ken Wilber, cleaning up, growing up, waking up, showing up, opening up. 
I can do that process of cleaning up my warrior from its identifications and uh, staying in contact with the strength and the qualities of the warrior. I and the, arch the warrior, the archetype is a harmonizing principle, means that the more I let him work, the more my chronicization, my identifications of the wounded warrior, of the impotent warrior, with the violent warrior, are harmonized by the archetype of the warrior. The warrior that is beyond the war, the warrior of light, the warrior that express determination, express uh, stamina, express uh, courage, express uh, presence uh, and capacity to solve problems. Uh, there is a lot of things, but I, have, I, don't, I think that is better that, oh, I can... Um, May we ask some questions, Dr. Latuna? Eh, we go to the question, maybe. Eh? Yes. yes. Yeah, you see, just just to see that I am not saying and it, these are the methodology. There are all the practice that we have different. Pra let me. There are a lot of pra these are just the name of different practice that we can do to realize what I am saying. And this is some of the two books wrote in English where you can find something about